You have an incoming call. You have an incoming call. <clears throat> Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Connection, connect, connect, connection, lost, connection, lost. Disconnected. So my name is Romin Amitafrashi, and I'll be your host together with uh, Jasmine Karimova and Sylvia Lano in this festival. So um, we are going to be your guest in five episodes in two weeks. We have a wide variety of uh, pieces written by graduating composition students of Conservatory of Amsterdam. So if you want to know more about this, you can follow us on Facebook at Sun New Music Arena, where we are posting exclusively for uh, for this festival. 
And now here with me are the composers uh, who work on the pieces the piece that we were listening uh, right from the beginning of this episode. So hello everyone, welcome to the show. And uh, uh, the hello. title of this piece was Knitting. So I would like to start with Alberto. What was the concept behind this piece? Well, uh, it's kind of more difficult to explain than actually to do it. But uh, okay, Knitting is the sister of, of Canvas, the other collaborative piece that we're presenting in the festival. Uh, Canvas has the focus more on the space, which is filled in by the group of composers, but knitting has the focus on the object or the material. So the first composer of our group uh, made an object or a material and passed it to the next composer. And then the next composer would decide if adding his own or her object uh, either after, before, or even on top of the previous object. So after approximately three rounds uh, working like this, we arrive to what you saw. Great. I have to mention that during this festival, we have two collective pieces. This was one of them. Uh, here with me also Jasmine is here. Jasmine, I would like to ask you, what was the most challenging and most rewarding thing during the process of uh, working on this piece? Um, I think the most challenging uh, was shaped by the circumstance because we couldn't work on this together. Um, communication is different, right? Because it's all virtual. Um, so that made it a little slow going and tricky, but I think the most rewarding part of it was that um, we ended up creating something that I really enjoyed. And it's really cool to know that despite difficulties, despite um, whatever virtual blocks that they may be, uh, it's possible to bring a lot of loose ends into one collective piece mm -hmm. and have it backed up by a cohesive concept and have it executed well. So that for me was the most rewarding. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I was thinking that each one of you has a different styles in writing. So maybe Chongli and I would like to ask you that, uh, how did you deal with this difference in styles? Was it was it challenging for you? Um, no, I, I, I didn't find it challenging. So I think it's the concept behind the knitting piece. It's called the knitting, so it means kind of knit are the composer style into one piece and mm -hmm. uh, when we compose we listen to the previous material generated by other composers and we think how could we imply our own styles with that, that material so it's through that way I think we form a piece with kind of unity and coherence so I so I don't find it very challenging. Yeah. And uh, for the last question, maybe Paul Morris, what, how, how was this experience for you? Uh, how, how was it? It was it challenging for you. What did, what did, you, what was your experience? Yeah, that's a difficult question. It, the experience was very new, and it's it's almost as if. Uh, before this, I didn't realize how, how different styles can be. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was like a challenge for you to kind of have these differences in these styles, yeah? I don't know, not really a challenge, but uh, uh, more like a chain of surprises. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. For joining us, we have to move on. The next piece is Crime and Punishment. It's a piece based on a very famous novel by Fyodor Dostoevsky. So it is written for a string quartet by Andrea Guterres and is performed by the Sphere Quartet. So we will listen, uh, listen to it and we'll be back right after that.
Hi there, dear online audience. I am Silvia and I am here with my colleague Andrea Guterres, who comes all the way from Australia and uh, she's finishing her master's degree here in Amsterdam this year. Uh, Andrea, we just heard your string quartet, uh, which is a musical illustration of Fyodor Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. And I was wondering, are you often inspired by literary sources when you write your music? Absolutely. I'm mostly inspired by literary sources. So all of my music has a story, whether it uh, comes from a, an existing lit piece of literature or my own story. Cool. And uh, why did you choose Crime and Punishment for this piece? Well, it's one of my favorites. Uh, I reread it recently because it's it's rather timeless. So I think that you can read it uh, many, many times and get different interpretations from it. And I really like how it, uh, like a typical Russian novel from the 19th century, really draws on some elements of the human condition, which we can all relate to. So I guess in this case, I would say the... Um, ambivalence and the coexisting of bipolar opposites is something that uh, I think is very much part of the common human experience. Are these elements uh, what you translated in your uh, sound material? And I, I'm wondering, how did you do that? Uh, like, uh, which ways did you find to do that in music? Well, I was very inspired by the post-Soviet string quartets, such as that of Shostakovich, who I'm a huge fan of, and Schnitko uh, as well. So that already set quite an aesthetic, uh, a, a particular aesthetic, I think, that, it, that aligns with Dostoevsky's aesthetic, even though it was a completely different era. Uh, it's a very similar culture and uh, ideological paradigm. So that sort of already set uh, an, an a certain aesthetic. And then I sort of drew from my musical intuition from there. Cool. Um, and uh, as far as I know, this is your first string quartet. Uh, how was the experience of uh, writing for a string quartet? Will you write more in the future? I hope so. I mean, uh, the, uh, string quartets are challenging um, for sure, but I don't feel that this has finished, this, this string quartet that I just wrote. So uh, for sure, I hope that there will be a sequel in the future. Will it be inspired on a Russian theme? Most likely. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No Australian theme for the next string quartet? <laughs> um, I'll get back to you on, on that. On, on what an Australian <laughs> theme really is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, thank you, Andrea, for being here with us today. Um, just as a reminder for our audience, later on we will have an after party and they can ask you questions uh, related to your pieces and to your music. So until then. Uh, and now we are moving on to listen to Frida's band called Deep Freeze Froud. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Uh, so I hope that you all enjoy it. ganz still sitz, nicht bewegen, dann wächst in mir ein Unikum, ein grau graues Wesen, das heißt Weile und langsam wird es lang. Es macht mich böse, ich moduliere zu meinem schändlichen Freigesang, denn alles soll zugleich passieren, herummarschieren, paradoxerweise dann, wo mir Ex 
explodieren. Aus der Asche erhebt sich mein Kind. Es ist so wunderbar, so sonderbar. Es ist alles, was je in mir war. Hochbegabt, deshalb bin ich dem kleinen Ding nur so verschleifend zwar. Och, ist sie nicht süß. Kommt ein Vogel geflogen. Kommt ein Vogel geflogen. Setz dich nieder auf meinen Fuß. Setz dich nieder auf den Kopf meiner Kreation. Aber du schaut mich an und fragt Menschenskind, was richtest du hier an? Nichts, ich sag es dir. Alles ist so vorgenommen. Fang doch endlich an zu bauen. Leicht für dich ausgenommen. Gar nicht das? Oh Mensch, na los! Vorsicht, hoppla, auf! Dein Weg bildet einen Kreis und dein Ziel sitzt bei dir hinten drauf. Wenn ich wollte, na dann will doch. Wenn ich könnte, na dann kann doch. Wenn ich wüsste, na dann weiß doch. Hör mal damit auf, dich selbst aufzuhalten. Das Gehirn schlägt von als Falten und dazwischen wächst die Fähigkeit, es abzuschalten. Warum glaubst du denn, kann man in Wolken die Gesichter sehen? Als Mensch ist man halt Idiot und sie gesteht sich eigentlich nichts zu verstehen und außerdem nicht weiter darauf einzugehen. Ich gebe ja zu, ich frage mich mehr, wie kann denn so ein Zweig entstehen? Von Wesen, die darauf bestehen, sie können sich entgegengehen. Mit ausgetauschten Lauten wie O und A und Ä sich einander gründlich auf den Grund zu gehen? Quatsch. Mein Lieblingswort. Und ich werde euch noch mehr bieten. Es ist nämlich an der Zeit, die Welt mit dir zu gießen. Wenn ich wollte, na dann will doch. Wenn ich könnte, na dann kann doch. Wenn ich wüsste, na dann weiß doch.
Thank you. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're all sitting comfortably. My name is Frida, and I am presenting to you Dietfrischfruit, which means in English uh, fruit from the freezer. And I am um, today with this magic box here where I trapped all the friends that I usually make music with. Um, but for now, it's just me with all these things. So here's the thing. I am too childish to be grown up, too analytical to be childish, too impulsive to be analytical, too philosophical to be impulsive, too esoteric to be philosophical, too practical to be esoteric, too artistic to be practical, too scared to be artistic, but too strong to be scared. I'm too affectionate to be strong, I'm too independent to be affectionate, I'm too pondering to be independent. I'm too stubborn to be pondering. I'm too patient to be stubborn. I'm too explosive to be patient. I'm too observing to be explosive. And I'm too surrounded to be observing. Surround me with little colorful things. There's a lack, and you know it. I'm not afraid to say it. Feed me. been here before, never wanted to go, but it has found its way to totality, with knowledge of how to wonder, come closer and see, but never touch, it's all mine. But it does what it wants, never listens. Dressed in white, I take out the trash, take out the trash. Married to a hero's deed without you knowing. For the next <laughs> piece, I'm opening a different file. And this music was written on the most perfect spot on this planet, which is the island Hidden Sea in the Baltic Sea. And the basic message is that an exhausted mind needs sand.
reveals another secret about myself, which is that I sometimes have trouble falling asleep. And this poem describes the space between the moment that you decide to sleep, you close your eyes, and the moment that you're actually gone. So you go. Ogen zijn al lang gesloten. Toch blijft het landschap zich eindeloos vergroten. Ze laat zich vallen van het dak en vliegt over huizen, straten en rivieren. En niet op zoek naar papieren, maar een weiland met schapen die geteld willen worden tot we eindelijk slapen. Ze danst tussen nat meet hoger gras. Ze danst tussen nat meter hoger. In ieder geval dacht ze dat dat het was. Klaarwakker. Het kraakte onder het matras. Aangestaard door het boek dat ik las. Lang 
langzaam maar zeker daalt ze weer af. En plant in een tuin met beeldjes van glas. En gesnoeid gewas. En gesnoeid gebeest. En gesnoeid gezijn. En gesnoeide geest. Ze verkoopt de tuin kabouter een klap. Prettige zaken doen. Een goedkope grap. En het maakt dan samen één naadslag. Hij zegt. Niets terug. Ze stopt wisselgeld. En de zak op zijn rug. Zullen de buren hiervan denken? Buren die koffie in schenken en wenken door hun ramen met gesloten gordijnen. Geheimen schuilen overal. Ontdekken zal ik ze allemaal. Toedekken zal ik jullie allemaal. Neem als kussen mijn schouder en als deken mijn zelfbedacht verhaal. En dan smeet dus nat meter hoog gras. In ieder geval dacht ik dat dat was. Of hebben we iets op het hoofd gezien? Misschien dat we altijd maar slapen. Ontwaak, ontwaak, de roep van de haan. Volg je zijn stem, dan is het gedaan. Je zult niets meer verstaan, vergaan. Zo alles wat je geloofde te geloven. Links en rechts brokkelt het af en de kern komt naar boven. Die omhult zich met lage illusies. Om voldaan en ongestoord te twijfelen aan zijn eigen bestaan. Slaap, kindje, slaap. Buiten loopt een haan. Hij verslindt je, verdrinkt je, omringt je en begint ongevraagd imitatie in te leiden. Je zult slinken, zinken en thee drinken. Wil je dat echt? Wat had ik nou gezegd? Ren, ren, de grondslag achterna. Alleen zie ik niet welke kant ik op ga. Doe jij nog het licht uit? Uh, het ligt net zo lekker. Ik verbied je nog te lezen. Nou ja, vergeet niet te wekken. Opening the last file. And up next. We have a love song for the universe.
Just as I am everything Just as I am everything Thank you for everything Thank Allergie, hoofdpijn, buikpijn, allergie, hoogtevrees, hoogtevrees, hoofdpijn, hoofdpijn. Dit past nooit allemaal, waar het hoort ben ik bang. Ik denk ik moet plassen, misselijk, met gevolg van dien. Al heb ik nog nooit een gevoel echt gezien. 1, 2, 3, 4 bomen, we rijden door het bos.
So, next up we have a song that has a lot of poetic metaphors that one person could get, but then it's so cryptic and Dutch that I, I think I'm the only one that knows what's going on. But enjoy. <laughs> Zien achter wind, misschien een hijskraan tussen palen die vergaan. Achter jou stappen op zoeken vol gaten, op zoeken vol gaten. what I call it, um, uh, a woman that bears the same name as I do, she asked me to write something to dance to, so that is what I did.
have reached the last song that I prepared for you. And this one I started writing with a friend of mine that is now back home in the far away India. So we never really finished the song together. And this is my take on the material that we have. I'm going to need a standard for this one. We're getting more and more sophisticated. And I'm going to drink a tiny sip of water.
that for you. I cannot do that. For I cannot do that for you. I cannot do that for you. I cannot. I cannot do that for you. I cannot. I cannot do that for you. 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 for listening and tuning in. Um, I want to thank also all the people that send me audio so I could work with it. We had Pietro on the double bass and Fabian on guitar and composers who send in their voices and uh, Lotte and Catalina and Noah who send me recordings. So thank you very much for that. And I see you guys at the after party. Should I start over? Tell me when. Hi, thank you so much for watching our first episode of the Composers Festival online. Um, this concludes our program today, but don't go anywhere yet because there's still fun to be had. If you go to the site of the stream, that's www.composersfestival.nl and go to the bottom of the program notes, there's a big round button that says after party. If you click on that button, you'll be taken to a space where you can chat and uh, communicate with other audience members and other composers whose pieces you've been listening to. There are a number of virtual rooms that you can enter. Um, for example, there's a place called the toilets where there's an electronic uh, music live set happening. And there's another room when there's a music quiz going on and naturally rooms where you can participate in Q&A style discussions with the composers whose pieces you just heard. My name is Jasmine. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope to see you on the 22nd of May, that's 
this Friday for our second episode. Um, and I look forward to hearing your questions in the after party. See you very soon. Bye. <laughs>